Today we are looking at antimicrobial resistance and how average Nigerians use antibiotics when they get ill. Antibiotics are a class of drug that help fight bacterial infections in the body, but when used incorrectly, have the ability to create antimicrobial resistance. So what is antimicrobial resistance? Antimicrobial resistance occurs when bacteria, viruses, fungi, and parasites that create diseases in our body change over time and no longer respond to the medicines, making infections harder to treat and increasing the risk of disease spread, severe illness, and death. Today, we are hitting the streets of Abuja to know how people on the streets use their antibiotics. I actually went to a pharmacy to get it on my own prescription, not a doctor's prescription. Yes, yeah, so I think I had an issue and normally we do self self um, self medication, yeah, and I think my I consulted my mom or someone and they will tell you go buy this from the pharmacy. So that's what I did. I took from the pharmacy. I didn't do a doctor's prescription. It's the person in the pharmacy that showed me the one to buy. Actually my I my parents recommended it. So growing up, I've been taking a particular type of antibiotics. So I just had to call my dad and he sent me the name and I went to buy it. I bought it from a chemist shop. I was running fever, like getting fever symptoms. So I said I'll chase myself for malaria. Then I bought antibiotics along with it, with the anti-malaria drugs. It was an antibiotic that was prescribed for my mom before. So I just used it because that's what she used when she had the fever symptoms. For me, the last time I used antibiotic, it was this, uh, prescribed by the pharmacist, and which I took it, and I actually I took it according to the prescription. Yeah, and I think, except for for ignorance, every prescription is supposed to be taken to the latter, as prescribed by the physician or the pharmacist. Sometimes I finish it, other times I leave it half full. If I feel that I'm getting healthy, I say, and there's no need to continue it anymore, so I just leave it. But sometimes it goes, then after a few weeks, to come back again because I didn't finish this. <laughs> finish. What do you not do in that case now when it doesn't? Um... I start the antibiotics again. <laughs> I normally don't complete my dose. Like once I start getting well, I think I'm done with the with the dosage, so I didn't complete it. I know it's wrong, but I'm also guilty. I do finish it. I went far, almost completed it. <laughs> if you use it the way it, it is prescribed, you achieve the maximum result. And if you don't, you don't achieve the result. That is an underdose. It will eventually not have effect on your system. Completing a dosage is important, even if you feel better after a few days. This helps to completely eradicate infection. Stopping halfway allows a small portion of the infection to remain behind and the bacteria has the potential to mutate and develop resistance. Before drugs and antibiotics are given, patients must undergo medical tests to determine the actual cause of the disease and what medication will be suitable. Antimicrobials should only be prescribed and dispensed by a qualified and certified healthcare professional. Antibiotic judiciousness is the most effective strategy to stop antimicrobial resistance. To do so, follow these steps. 